Hey, your next video on empowering the natural positive evolution. And just yesterday I was in a phone shop looking for a cable and I thought, should I change my, uh, you know, this screen of the phone? And now that I see the video, I think, oh yeah, I should have. <laughs> I could have. So it's maybe not so bright because the screen is quite damaged and the camera then doesn't focus so well or doesn't have a clean view. But anyway, yeah, the, there's a few videos now on this empowering the natural positive evolution. And this one is, uh, is, is for on, the, on the lay lines and the lay centers. Because that is, yeah, that came on my path eh, in a, well, I started this in more energy journey one and a half year ago. And then quite fast that came to me, I have to find those lay centra, that's what it's called. And it wasn't very easy to get information on that, because in the first place I didn't know, not even really their existence. So as I got onto the trees and onto the powerpoints, then I and I, I got to the church. Yeah, you can have that. Uh, maybe you you saw that video. It's the first one in this series. Um, so I got to a little chapel where there was this PowerPoint, and then I thought, okay, so the churches also. And then I dived into how to find those powerpoints, if you like, or later I found out sacred sites, also called. So then it. Um, I got to this book, the ley lines and the ley centers in the in the lowlands, in the um, by Fleer. It's a Dutch author, and he described quite well in his introduction where the whole idea in Europe uh, came from and a bit of a history. Of what is there? I can I will put it in the description on this video that you can look for it. It's not very, uh, or it's yeah. There's not many books available. Uh, they are quite pricey. So you could also send me an email um, and we can talk on that. But the, in this book, he gives an gives introduction on where did it all come from. And I was curious about how to find them. So what I saw was on my travel, they, these, yeah, you can say sacred sites or in PowerPoints. They just popped up. I just, I had to open my eyes and see them or open my third eye actually and see them. And the more I go to those places, the more my third eye is open, or I should say here. Yeah. Uh, interestingly, and now I'm discovering that that is uh, something very natural that is happening. So that's why this video fits so well in the series. Uh, so I thought, okay, I will look for the lay centra. And then, um, yeah, what, I, what is, first of all, what is a lay line? Yeah, and what is a lay centra? Um, well, the lay lines, they are, when I started to read about it, there was something like energy lines running over the surface of the earth. Yeah, just many lines. They are not straight lines, but some people discovered that if you follow those uh, energy lines and you see where, where they are going, then very often there are stretches where they are in a straight line. Um, in England is very famous. Uh, and how, how to find those ley lines, that was my big question. Because the, the lay center, they are then the places where those lay lines, they cross, uh, where they cross over each other, where they intersect. So I said, okay, how to find that? And then I got on this, that you, you can, one of the ways how you can find them is with this dosing, dosing rods. I'm not saying it right, I think, dosing, D-O-W-S-I-N-G. The dosing rods, so those those the wiggelrude. You can use the the sticks to localize them. Uh, so I thought, okay, so that's how I can find it. Because in in the literature, I could see that people said, okay, there's a there's a ley line or a ley center at this church and that church and or in that place. But then still, I didn't know where it was exactly. So that's why I dived in deeper, like how to find exactly the spot. Because of course, maybe five or ten meters matters. And depending on the site, and depending on the time of the year, and even the time of the day, uh, this, this, the, the, the size, you can say, the amplitude of this, this lay center is bigger or smaller. And it can be meters, but it can also be hundreds of meters um, easily, depending where you are. 
so then I, I said, okay, I'll look for this, how to get, how to find them. And I f what I found in the information was that with these rods. And of course, I had no idea about that. I got a little book on some of the lay, lay centers, I think, on the, in the north of the Netherlands. And then the guy who wrote it, the author, he sent also some of these sticks. But I didn't want to start just to move, use the sticks. I had to get a bit of background. So that's why I dived into the... Uh, on the internet and I looked for that and then I got more information on the ley lines and the ley centers and I got to Rory Duff as I said in a previous video already and I thought okay this guy he's a geobiologist uh, working with this energy lines on the earth and there's many different types of lines which I was not aware of and so there's also many different type of ley centra or sacred sites so they are sacred sites of dif different um, character you can say and Rory has quite some information available on his website you I will put also the link below this description you can find uh, uh, him quite easy and uh, their uh, magical world will open for also for you probably with a lot of surprises uh, so he's really into it and I, I, I watched a small video where he explained how the how the rods work and then I got it Bah, I got the idea, not how, how it works, not, uh, not to learn how it works, but the, I was of course curious, like, how do, do those sticks, how can they show you where you have to be, or where you are? And then he explained also, there is this, just a communication, let's say, between your hands and your brain, yeah? And your brain, there is a communication with the rest of the world, that we, we can observe so little of what actually is there, with our conscious mind or with the, the things we know with the with the eyes with the ears with our common senses and the interpretation of that but there's so much more and the subconscious if we want to call it like that he just detects it so what we establish is a communication between your subconscious mind what there is if you want and what, uh, your conscious mind so then I said, okay, that's, that's how it goes. And I, I, I decided to go and, and, and learn from him. And as I, I put a, uh, this wish out, I, I even booked some flights to get there. <laughs> but then I, my, my working schedule changed and I couldn't go there directly. It was very funny how, how I got there in the end. Uh, maybe not for this video, but the summary is that as I go more and more to these lay centers and the uh, inner eye is open more, I was becoming aware that actually I had already programmed things with my much more powerful insight and the, independently of my thoughts like this program was unfolding and this of course is uh, maybe it sounds very abstract but like I was writing at a certain point sites and dates in my agenda and then as the time approached where there were no dates and I physically on a distance level I, I, I had thought to go to those places as time approached and it got closer to those dates then my whole agenda I had changed it and I thought with my brain that I had to do other things and then I could see actually when I was going just continuing life I saw that actually the universe if you want to call it like that the universe had organized that I could be on those dates on those sites it was even worse because I was traveling with the family crossing Europe and I saw when we were driving I said it's just 20 minutes uh, on quite a few places that I had not even known where they were exactly on the European map and then we just passed them and I could have organized to stop there so that's what also happened with these courses with Rory that I've then my program changed and I've my, my activities changed and I thought I couldn't go there and I saw that actually the universe had organized that I could have gone there so then I decided to go there and I went last weekend which was very good so I, I got to meet Rory finally and then I got to learn the first steps on how to find those lay centers and the lay lines and of course I have to develop this now but so there is uh, those lines they go over the you can say the surface or in the surface or close to the surface of the earth and there's many different types and when there is an intersection of those lines that is where there can be a sacred site depending on the 
uh, types of lines. So this is where I'm now at. Uh, but what is happening when you are connecting with this, there's a lot of synchronicity happening. So I'm meeting people on the way that just perfectly fit in my actual life activity. So this, these lines on the earth, uh, Rory explains very well in his information, that have to, have to do with, with, they have a certain frequency, which is like a sound. So there's like a sound trembling lines, yeah? And then the sacred sites, they have also, they have a different kind of a, a frequency where there's a different trembling going on. And this different trembling, when you are there, you get into harmony with this trembling. So then, then also your body being starts more to tremble on a similar, uh, maybe not the same frequency, but I, I think you could say it's a, a similar tone. I'm not so into music. But what is happening when now I'm on the travel, I'm meeting all musicians, world musicians, on, on by chance that they are the people that are uh, living or owning the Airbnb places where I'm going, for example. And uh, I, I meet very, very special persons that are on sacred, sacred sites and on music as well. So the combination is now coming up very much. And as Rory says, it is all sound. He says it's all sounds. Others says it's all light. It's... It is all as you, uh, it's all the same. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, for you, how to find those lay centers? Because that is, of course, one of the big questions. How can you find those lay centers uh, near your place? So I said it already in some other videos, but the first basic thing you could do is number one would be look for older churches in your surrounding. So churches from before 1350 is set in the literature. I, f I even think, look especially for churches from the 12th century, uh, 13th century and before. Uh, that's one place you can look for and just go there, be there, yeah? Spend some time there. Connect with walls, visit the altar place if you can. Um, that's one. Another one is to go to old megalithic constructions. I will put a link to a website in the description here. It's uh, Megalytics, I think it's called. I will uh, put a link down here in the description so you can easily find there. And there you can get to a map of meg uh, megalithic sites in Europe. Um, then there's a sidetrack. There's also one thing that I, I, I'm not sure if it's the same. Rory is saying it's some slightly different, but they are related. Then there is a, you can go to ancient trees or healing trees that's more complex to find the right place maybe but i will put a link to the tree uh, site there is where you can find also trees in europe that are ancient at least uh, connect with the trees but that is a, maybe a different story and so those three things you can do rather easily and then well, yeah, what to do there well at least maybe be there if you meditate meditate there and just take it slowly and then how to find it with the rods well that's that's another level yeah maybe you could connect with people who do search them with rods because the funny thing is that they are not stable in place even so even if you know the side then they may it may move slightly or even more depending on uh, well some other aspects so for now i will leave it um yeah, I thought to make a short video, but it's not easy for me. It's so many things, so many different things. But yeah, this lay, uh, this journey on the empowering the natural positive evolution, the lay centers are a very valuable ingredient for that. Yeah, so the intersections of these energy lines and different types of energy lines, different intersections have a different. Uh, frequency different sacred sites okay enjoy the journey bye